Also this morning, a devilish debut in Detroit as a group unveils a nearly nine foot tall satanic statue. The one ton bronze sculpture costs more than $100,000 and features a goat head. Ticket holders were given a location where a hundred people or hundreds rather hundreds of people show up for this, including both supporters and protesters. But invitees were then given a second secret address where the statue is actually located. Well, it's an event that's created a lot of buzz among local churches and Christian groups. The largest public satanic ceremony in history happening right here in Detroit. 7 Acts News reporter Jane Park is uh, live with us tonight. Jane, organizers went to great lengths to keep this a private, exclusive party. What's up? They really did, Dave. Now, we are standing along Grand River, and the building behind me was where uh, guests originally came. But shortly after they were let in, they were told to go to a second undisclosed location where we're to believe that party is going on right now. The Satanic Temple made it very clear it would be their members and their guests and not our cameras that will be getting a first look at this much-talked-about statue. The lines ran along the graffitied walls, at least 100 people eagerly waiting for what's been kept well under wraps. It said, uh, dress like an animal or wear horns and tails. Some drove in from as far as upstate New York to see the Satanic Temple unveil a nine-foot-tall bronze statue of a goat-headed Satan. It just seemed like it would be a historic event. The guests came dressed to impress. Each paid at least 25 bucks for a ticket. Security inside was tight. No cameras or media allowed in. No cell phones and photographs allowed. The secretive nature of the event didn't prevent a few protesters from attending. We figured, well, if they're going to unveil a statue and show a statue, well, we're going to show the statue that beat this statue <laughs> behind the scenes in reality. That's, uh, you know, recounted in the St. John's Apocalypse that St. Michael and his angels defeated Lucifer and his angels. Members of the Satanic Temple, who say they stand for the separation of church and state, kept mum Saturday night, focused instead on showing their guests a good time. Some came out of curiosity, others just to appreciate the art. And they say, don't knock it just because it's not your taste. A sculpture or a piece of art or a uh, tribute to something that they don't understand is not necessarily going to impact their religion or their beliefs. There was so much buzz about the night Detroit police set up outside just to make sure the Satanists and the naysayers stayed civil. You know, we support anyone's First Amendment right to practice whatever religion they want or to come out and protest against that, you know, their freedom of speech. So, you know, we're there to basically protect the rights of everyone involved. In the end, the group made good on its promise to make this an exclusive event. Guests patient enough to make it through the line were promptly sent out the back door where outsiders can only imagine the real party awaits. A uh, party, we're told, is supposed to last well beyond midnight. As for the statue, it could end up at the Arkansas State Capitol, where there is a Ten Commandments statue also planned. Live near downtown Detroit, Jane Park, 7 Action News. to see the unveiling of a satanic statue. Very controversial story, much of it still shrouded in mystery. Fox 2's Dave Spencer joining us with that story. Behind me is the building where ticket holders of the Satanic Temple of Detroit were told to come see an unveiling of sorts, a statue. But once they got here, they were told there is no statue here. In fact, we tried to go in and see for ourselves. We were told that our cameras were not allowed. We talked to people as they were leaving the event. They told they were merely given instructions to another location where possibly the statue was being held for its own protection. They wanted to keep that a secret. No matter where you stand on this issue, it's one that's igniting passion on both sides. It was raw passion and belief on display for public consumption. And this demonstration was a protest of the plans of the Satanic Temple of Detroit. We understand that freedom of religion means we have the freedom to uh, express what we believe as well. It's more of a motive to um, get rid of religion or to make fun of religion. And I don't, I, I mean, I don't think that they should do that. Meaning, if you don't believe in God, 
And that's what the Satanic Temple group says. They don't believe in God. And they also say they don't believe in the devil. So why would you create an image that represents the devil? This protest was held away from the unveiling site only because the Satanic Temple kept its location a secret, only known to hundreds of paid ticket holders. I think it does add to the allure. I think some people are a little bit worried that there will be uh, attacks. There was talk of arson from religious groups. So it's uh, a little bit of... It's a little bit frightening and a little bit attractive at the same time. What seems to bring this relatively quiet, passive group together is a shared belief. I thought that Satanism was a deification of Satanism, or, or the devil, like kind of the Christian right. devil, which is totally not the case. Um, it is more of like, you know, only worship yourself. And a desire to see that belief understood. A lot of people that, in fact, are protesting out here, that uh, they're more looking at it as a... Uh, there were devil worshippers, which were not. Some were piqued by curiosity. What is the Satanic Temple of Detroit all about? It sounded like an interesting cultural event, and I actually looked up their beliefs on their website, and it made a lot of sense to me. Just a few of the reasons people stood in a massive line that stretched down Warren Avenue, waiting to see a bronze goat-headed idol that weighs one ton and is nearly nine feet tall. I've seen pictures that I think were uh, the incomplete version of the statue, and it looks really interesting. I'm a big fan of art and statues and uh, big first-time events like this, so I'm interested to see what it looks like. And we were told that Detroit would just be the place where this statue is unveiled. It will not be its permanent home. In fact, it will be going to Oklahoma, where it's set to sit alongside the Ten Commandments monument that's at the state capitol there. We'll follow that development and see if that's where it indeed ends up. In Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. Hundreds of people turned out tonight for the unveiling of a very controversial statue. Yeah, it really is. The Satanic Temple of Detroit revealed the one-ton bronze statue. Uh, their message, they say, more about laws protecting religious freedom than about Satan. Priya Mann joins us live. Priya, I know there were some protesters out there this evening. Uh, did the event remain calm? Steve Sander, Detroit police say this was a relatively peaceful event. There were a few protesters early on that tried blocking the door so people couldn't get in to get tickets. They were told to step back, which they did. The Satan statue will be unveiled tonight at a secret location. As a small group of protesters prayed, hundreds waited for tickets to the unveiling of an eight-foot-tall bronze statue of a goat-headed Satan. Most of the people here agree with the teachings of the Satanic Temple, the group responsible for the event. It's here, it's in Detroit, and this is fantastic that like we get to experience this and we get to see this amazing statue be unveiled for all the world to see. Many tell us they feel misunderstood and are quick to point out they do not worship the devil. It's mostly about individuality, so the one thing I don't like is the backlash, but they have no knowledge or have no ears open to listen to it. Jesus! Protesters took the heavy rainfall as some sort of sign and even brought their own statue of an angel crushing the devil. For them to come out and want to make a statement that all of this is horrible, and it's rotten, it's, they, they don't, I feel sorry for them. I really, really feel sorry for them. Well, I think it's like an unabashedly anti-Christian event, but, you know, I have no problem with that. Just like, I don't really have a problem with protesters standing outside telling me I'm going to go to hell. The unveiling here in Detroit is historic. The Satan statue has never before been seen publicly. The Satanic Temple says the statue is a symbol for what they advocate, the separation of church and state. This country was based on religious freedom. And uh, tonight in what the temple is doing, this is a celebration of true religious freedom. Now, it's important to note that the Satan statue will not stay here in Detroit. The Satanic Temple wants to take the statue to Arkansas. The state capitol there, there is a monument to the Ten Commandments. They want to put the statue next to it as a form of protest. So again, the Satan statue will not stay here in Detroit. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, the controversy will move south.